What's going on guys, T-Mart here and welcome back to another episode of the top 10 best paint jobs in Black Ops 3. This is a weekly series we do every single Sunday where you guys submit your paint job creations. I feature them in the video so you get to kind of, you know, show off your work and the rest of us who aren't quite as artistically inclined can kind of appreciate your work as well as get some ideas and some inspiration for stuff we may want to put on our weapons in Black Ops 3. Now, uh, this week there's no, like, theme for the episode. Like, last week it was CSGO skins in Black Ops 3. This week it's completely random. There's some really cool ones I can't wait to show you guys. Next week, I wanted to let you guys know ahead of time, we are going to be doing a Star Wars themed week. So if you guys want to submit your own designs, your own paint jobs for Star Wars, then please go ahead and do so. I, I thought it'd be kind of good timing because the new Star Wars movie, Episode 7, comes out on the 18th. So uh, we could do like a Star Wars themed episode a couple of days before that because it's pretty exciting. I can't wait for that movie. But anyway, so uh, starting off our list here at number 10, we have Flags of the World by Killer Man. 913. I I can tell that there's a lot of work that went to this one. You know, obviously going through and putting all these different countries' flags on a weapon is going to take a, a decent amount of time to do. And I just I thought it was kind of a cool design. Actually, I think we've seen something like this before. And uh, I think it was called the Ghosts, right? Like there was a, a DLC camo like pack personalization pack type thing that had this camo on it. So uh, yeah, thank you, Killer Man 913. Next up at number nine, we have Do and Doritos by Helix Hawk. So uh, these camos aren't really that difficult. Like I, I mean, the, the get making the logos would actually be pretty tough, but it's not like they're super super involved. I just I really like the creativity of using the dual pistols, like the akimbo pistols, to have both Do and Doritos on there. Obviously, Do and Doritos is like a big Call of Duty meme almost in a way because we always have double XP through that uh, every single year. So uh, I just I thought that was kind of cool that he used that in a unique way uh, on those akimbo pistols. Now uh, next up at the number eight spot, we've got. Optic Knives by Willus. I hope I'm saying that right, but this guy went straight fanboy mode. He's got the Nade Shot Knife. He's got the Crim Six Knife. He's got the King Scumper Knife. And he's got the Optic Pomage Knife. So I, just, I thought that was kind of cool. I love all four of those guys. I consider them good friends. And I thought that Willus did a fantastic job with these logos and names. So, uh, good job, dude. Now, uh, anyway, moving on to number seven, we've got the Starbucks Red Cup by Rock Peace Baby. So, uh, you guys know, I just, I really like when people take advantage and are super creative with, like, the, the kind of, like, unique aspects of each weapon. And, like, the Black Cell here, as you guys know, we've seen it previously in this series, you kind of, like, take that whole back cylindrical thing out when you reload it and uh, somebody before made a Duracell battery out of that which I thought that was really cool I featured it in one of the, the previous episodes and this time it's a Starbucks red cup so every time you reload this thing unfortunately we don't have gameplay but you would it'd be essentially like you're pulling out like a Starbucks cup out of it and then putting a new one in which I thought that was kind of cool there's also like this big controversy around the red cup recently so I thought that was you know it was creative it was current with the times and it was pretty sick so a uh, good job dude now uh, anyway moving on to number six we've got emojis by Cure Panic this was just kind of a, a unique one it's something that I I haven't seen a lot of people do. I definitely haven't seen it in game and I haven't seen it, uh, you know, kind of like submitted to the series yet. So I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, and I love emojis. I use them all the time. I mean, I would probably say, you know, you'll rarely see a text or a tweet or something like that for me without an emoji. And I think my most popular one is definitely the laughing, crying face. Uh, let me know which one you guys use the most down in the uh, in the comments. But anyway, moving on to number five. This is where it starts to heat up, baby. Pun intended, we've got the Hot Rider by Skyfall NBLA. Hot Rider? I think I said Hot Rider or something. I don't know what I said there. Anyway, so uh, you guys can see it's like that typical hot rod kind of like design on his M8. It's got a black background with the crazy orange and yellow flames all over it. It looks like it's a pretty simple camo to make. It's kind of like the the same shape used over and over and then like adding fades and layering and shading and stuff like that. But it looks really good. Like it looks like it's one of those ones that won't be too difficult to make. But once you make it, it's going to look really, really good in game as you guys can see from this gameplay. So uh, I wanted to uh, definitely feature that one. Next up, we have Oculus by James Fulduda. And uh, this one, I just I thought it was sick. Like you see, a lot of the locust camos in this game are based off of like the Hyper Beast or the you know Dragon Lore or you know any other type of CS:GO skin stuff like that. This one was completely unique, 
and I think it looks really, really good. He's popping domes and taking eyeballs with this thing, so uh, that's pretty cool. Now, anyway, moving into our top three, this is where I really, really love these three. Like, these are three of my favorites. Next up, we have the Raygun Mark II by SM6553 at number two. So you guys can see this is on the Argus shotgun, and he's modeling it off of the new Raygun Mark II from Zombies. And uh, man, does this thing look epic. And it's a very, very good portrayal of what the Argus would look like if it was the Ray Gun Mark II. You know what I mean? So I, just, I thought he did a fantastic job with that. It's unique. It's something we haven't seen before. And I just, I really, really liked it. So a fantastic job, dude. Now, next up at number two, we have one that really isn't that involved, but I think looks really, really good. This is the M887 Carbon Fiber by F-Bomb. And you guys can see, this is simply a black background with kind of like three striped diamonds in varying positions all over the weapon. And I just like, I think that looks really good. I think that's a super clean camo. It's a camo that's, you know, easily recreated. Like any of us could go into the paint shop right now and make that pretty easily. And it's just, it looks good. It's clean. It works. It's not too vibrant to where it's going to make you stand out in the map, but it's still like, it's just, it's a clean design. And, and I really like that. Like, I can appreciate that. So thank you, F-Bomb. That is definitely a, uh, a badass camo you made there. And then finally, last but not least, we're kind of going to the opposite end of the spectrum. Instead of being clean and simple to ease to recreate, we have got the Galaxy Camo by JKS Games. This guy put this thing on his M8, on his KN44, and on his knife, and all three of them are equally cool. So this one, I, just, I thought it was super, super, super cool, super involved. I have no clue I made it, but it looks really good, and uh, I commend you on that, dude. So uh, congrats to JKS Games on taking that number one spot. But wait, there's more. There is one final kind of like special one that I wanted to shout out because it's near and dear to my heart. You guys might not care as much, but uh, Jack Booth did submit this is Super Cooper Sunday uh, paint job for the series. And although I didn't want to include it in the actual series itself because I know a lot of you guys might not be able to relate to it, I love this one. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. I absolutely love Cooper. As you guys know, that's my little golden retriever puppy. I do a series over my second channel every single Sunday, kind of like I do with this series, uh, you know, kind of like documenting his life growing up and stuff like that. And today we did a whole episode about putting the Christmas tree up and he was essentially taking it down just as fast as I was putting it up. So it was kind of fun. If you guys want to check that out, uh, then uh, click the invitation on screen or the link down in the description. I will catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Again, it's going to be a Star Wars themed episode, so make sure you guys get your submissions in before Sunday, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.